So I think it's important to talk about mental health because nobody should have to um, suffer alone. I'm Mike and um, talking about mental health, I've always felt that it's very important because uh, our mental health is something that's not static. It doesn't, uh, it's not something that we should ever take for granted. It's something that changes over the course of our life. I think when you have uh, uh, problems, they're bumping inside your head like little monsters that are growing and growing. And once you get them out of your mouth, all of a sudden they become, it's like a perception check. They're not so big, they're not so scary. Uh, I think talking about mental health uh, is important right now, uh, specifically because with uh, social media, it's never been so easy to, to contact so many different people. Uh, everybody has such a wide network of friends and acquaintances. Um, you know, you could find out what someone ate for lunch on the other side of the world, or you could find out uh, who got married from your first year of university or in, in, in elementary school but you could have really close friends and family who are struggling with mental health issues and that's because uh, the talk and like, conversations haven't yet been normalized. So I think that, you know, by bringing those discussions to the forefront and, you know, normalizing those conversations with, with friends and family, um, it reminds us kind of what being human is all about and what connections are. I think it lets people know um, that they're not alone and it can, help people to reach out more for help. When we begin the discussion about mental health, that's when we can begin to reduce the stigma around the topic. Being able to share your experiences and talking to other people with mental illness or anybody, it's a good feeling not to feel alone and like you're struggling alone. We're able to talk to each other, we can teach each other about signs, symptoms, resources, and treatments that otherwise we wouldn't know anything about. Uh, it's important to understand that stigma creates self-stigma in, uh, in the, 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 the people suffering from mental illness, So, uh, which is a very, very strong incentive not to talk about their mental illness. So literally, the more you talk about your mental health, your mental illness, the more you fight the self-stigma that stigma does to you. There's been a lot of good progress in the last few years to, to try to bring down the stigma, to not make it a, uh, an issue that we should keep quiet or secret. But, you know, so there's been a lot of good advancement in that direction. But I don't think the work is over. You know, mental health, some people consider it the biggest challenge of the 21st century. We're getting a lot better at other, all sorts of other illnesses and physical ailments, but mental health continues to be an ongoing challenge. You know, in mental health, it's not visible, right? So if we don't talk about it, we don't know that it's there. Um, you know, like if someone's walking around with a broken leg, we, we see that and we know where to send them. We know what help to give them. Um, with someone with mental health difficulties, we can't see that. We don't know where to send them. We don't know how to help them. We don't know that there's an issue. Um, so the more we talk about it, the more you know, help we can get, um, the more the, you know, the right path we can send them to the right services. I know personally through my life I've had moments when uh, I felt well and I didn't feel well and some of the things that have helped most has been talking to other people about some of the challenges that I've faced, um, some of the obstacles that we all have to uh, kind of overcome in our lives. I think as well in why talking about your problems help. I don't know about you, but when I have issues and the more I stew about them, the more anxious I get and more anxious and all that energy is bottled up in here and up, up here and talking about them, sometimes you cry when you're talking about it and that's okay because all that energy is out and then when you're done, everything's into perspective and the big scary thoughts are things that you can deal with. So that's why I think talking about uh, your problems is good for your mental health. And uh, actually, the, um, the science say that it's important to, uh, in order to fight stigma, shame associated with, uh, with mental illness, uh, to actually open up and talk about it. There's even steps uh, that are shown to be effective um, to, uh, to fight uh, uh, stigma and to, uh, and to start to, um, to uh, uh, increase your quality of life and, and get better. Um, I come from a generation where you sit and you talk to individuals and I find that that's also very helpful, you know. 
it's important that we all can talk about it and normalize it. Because when things are normalized, then we as a society see that, well, let's face it, as a society, it's not just an individual's struggles. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's a community, and like I said, it's a global struggle. So. And I think as we continue to talk about it, <clears throat> we need to, it helps us to start to really think about individually what we can do ourselves to, to encourage and foster good mental health in our own personal lives. Sometimes we have the tendency to take care of our bodies, to take care of our teeth, to take care of all sorts of things, but we sometimes forget that our mind needs a bit of maintenance and a bit of care and a bit of nurturing. And so I think if we continue to talk about it, then perhaps it become more normal that we look at little things we can do every day to keep ourselves mentally healthy and, and live the good life where we're not too bogged down by stress or you know, lower mood and really try to live as best we can.